We've been talking about uh, Moses and Israel out Mount, at Mount Sinai, and God has given them the Ten Commandments. Now the fourth commandment is to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. And this actually is mentioned in the book of Genesis, where it tells us that God created the, the universe in six days, and then he rested the seventh. So God got tired and rested, right? God doesn't get tired. <laughs> um, but he did that as a sample to us, that he wanted us to work for six days every week and to rest for a seventh day. He could have just done that and the whole universe would have been created. But he chose to spread it out over six days. Uh, the Soviet Union, for a while, experimented with people working nine days and resting the tenth. And they discovered it didn't work. People got sick. They didn't get enough rest that way. So they were forced to go back to work six days, take the seventh off. Um, like God knew what he was saying when he told us we needed to rest a day of the week. Uh, it is good for our bodies to take a day um, to rest. It is good for our minds to take a day to do something different. It is good for our families. You see, this commandment keeps people from being workaholics who work 10 hours a day, 7 days a week. They are forced to take one day where they have to spend it with their family, um, spend it with their spouse, making marriages better, spend it with their friends to make their community better. So it forces people to not worship their work. Uh, it forces them to take time to build their family and their life. The commandment also said to give your servants the day off. You can't even make your, your slaves work seven days a week. This is the first law we know of that made humans, or made slaves, to be human. They had human rights. And it's really hard to justify enslaving someone if they have the same human rights you do. It's hard to uh, call someone less than a human being when God said specifically, your maid needs the same day off you get off. So it, this... Uh, this commandment prevented slavery. Uh, it didn't take effect immediately, but it set the precedence that eventually led for the elimination of slavery uh, in many countries. Uh, it also said to let your animals have the day of rest, and it's the first known um, uh, law that, that tells, for the benefit of animals, it tells people to treat their animals nicely. And that, that is supported by other scriptures, uh, that uh, we are to treat our animals nice. So you couldn't even work your oxen seven days a week. I'm not real sure how you work your oxen seven days a week if you're not allowed to work seven days a week. And your servant is until I, but you still couldn't. You couldn't work your animals seven days a week. Um, so there, there were actually a lot of benefits to keeping the Sabbath. And this law is repeated throughout the Old Testament. But it quits being repeated after the cross. Is that because we're not supposed to keep the Sabbath after the cross? The answer to that is yes and no. We are supposed to observe the Sabbath, but the Bible tells us Jesus is our Sabbath. That before the cross, if people didn't keep the Sabbath, they were kicked out of the country. If they didn't sacrifice the right animals at the right time, they were kicked out of the nation. If they did, violated the laws, any of the laws of Moses, they were kicked out of Israel. We no longer have to work like that to keep our place in God's kingdom. Jesus did the work for us. He is our rest. And that's the book of Hebrews tells us that Jesus is our Sabbath. It is him we look to for our rest and our refreshing. Now, some people still observe a Sabbath religiously, and the Bible says that we are not to argue with them, and they are not to argue with us. We are to go to God and find out between God and us what he wants us to do. Certainly the, the parts of the Sabbath that says that our bodies need a day of rest, 
and our families need a day together, those still apply. So though I don't personally believe in religiously keeping the Sabbath, I do believe people should set aside specific time, at least once a week, for their families to be together and for their, their uh, marriage to be together and to gather together and worship God. Now that won't get us into heaven, but it'll make this life better. Jesus is the Sabbath that gets us into heaven. But this is part of God bringing joy into our lives, is to provide uh, the knowledge to us that we need to pay attention to these things. Okay, let's sing our song. God made me. <laughs> 